Right then, uh, welcome back to Ride 5, where the pain and suffering is real. Um, today, we are going to be doing the next event, which is another 1,000cc event in Tor. Um, I can't remember what it is. It's got the Desmo Sedici picture on the front of it. We'll find out now. There we go. The 1,000cc Benz Cup. There you go. Um, time attack, Nürburgring GP circuit. Uh, another five another three lap race at Cadwell Park um, and then oh my god a three lap race at whatever version of VIR that is now I was banging on about the fact that my 827 rated R1 which has got everything done to it apart from slick tyres was not really cutting the mustard the other bikes were beating it um, we got another R1 as part of winning that championship when we managed to make our way through the rain at Cadwell and what I've done is I've left the blue R1 as it was fully tuned up engine wise but on stock tyres uh, with a rating of 827 the grey R1 with the very nice red wheels uh, I haven't done the engine and we are down a whole 7 horsepower um and it weighs about a kilo more, but we've got slicks on it, and the rating is 898. So, again, I've been back and looked at the replay again from UMC, and they were definitely, definitely 100% on slick tyres. So that's why, round the corners, through the bends, I was getting powered, because I just couldn't keep up. But anyway, we digress. We're going to go to a time attack. So now we've put that to bed, and I can breathe easy. Uh, we will do this event. 205.8 is the time that we need to beat. Uh, we'll just put a set up in it. 8, 8, 4. That needs to be 6. That's 3. Uh, we'd pushed that up to 3, hadn't we? The R1 wasn't enjoying life on 2. Um, that needs to be 4. And that needs to be... That needs to be 2. Um, oh, I thought the gearing was very, very long. 200 mile an hour. Really? I don't think we're doing that. Um, and we'll leave the electric... Oh, we can't change the power mode. Ah! Because we don't have... We don't have the... Um, the requisite engine mods. Right. So that is the full tune. Ooh. Put the oil on five on that one. Really? And we move the compression damper down. Hmm. I'll tell you what, we'll do that again then. One, two, three, four, five. Right, we'll do that. That'll do. Tyres. Medium front, soft rear. It can be a bit front end of the circuit. And we'll see if we can beat that 205.8. One lap time attack is taking almost as long as a five lap race at Cadwell. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, when we do get a clean lap and we're not using a rewind to work out what we did wrong, um, we should absolutely smash this out of the park um, well into the 150s. It's not the most ambitious target, but. Dodgy taking that tight line through that right hand of the second part of that little chicane. Back end swaying about. So twitchy. This is where we made a mess of it last time. Way too late on the brakes. Way too late turning in as well. You just have to play with the brakes if you've got the engine braking on four. Sometimes you have to release the pressure just to dab a throttle, just to re-engage. 
the full drivetrains that are just sitting on the slipper clutch. Oh, that is slow through the second part of there. And there we go. The job, they say, is a cod. 159, 153. Right, we'll make a note of that. Right, let us go and see where we've ended up and what we've done. Why, thank you, level 106. I wonder what the top level is. What was it last time? 199? 159, can't remember. Right, so we've nearly got the MT-10, which is handy. Right, so we did a 159.153, which would have put us... Oh, not great. There we go. It would put us 52nd. I'll set 51st. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use that R1, and then when we're finished with that R1, I'll stick the slicks on this one, and then we'll throw, we'll throw that round as well. And we'll have a bit of fun with both. So there's, what, 12 difference in it. That has slightly heavier wheels and no engine tuning. And that is absolutely fully tuned to death. So I'm interested to see the difference. So the tune's in. We've done the tyres. That's not an issue. Um, yeah. I've well, got to be more 59.1. think when we were doing the time attack event I think we did a 57 so I guess we'll see what it brings it's slightly warmer now 19 degrees I don't know if that's going to affect the tyres at all Very slidey in there. And it does not want to turn. There's still no rear slide at all. So frustrating. Because we're not running any traction. So 190 horsepower bike should. If you get on the gas at the right time, it should be light in that rear tyre. No problem. I know where we're going to struggle here, and it's down the straights. We've got him absolutely licked into the corners. And pulled out seven tenths of a second through there. Oh, come on, get in. Thank you. Delightful. Don't. Oh, we got away with that. I thought it was going to be a penalty and or a crash. Or any combination of the above. So 1.5 coming out of the corner. Ooh, 158.052. Do you know what? I think we'll leave that there. Right, so we did a what? 158.052. One lap for glory. And we'll go and see whether the blue one's any quicker. Right, where did that put us? Oh, no, not that. Where did that put us? 41st. 158. 
There's a couple of 019s, 1519. Right, okay. Look at the BM. It's BM and Super Legera City, isn't it? Right, we'll set that. We'll jump on the blue one. She's got a bit more go. Not much, though. What, nine turns? So, yeah, what do we say? 12. Let's have a look at the gearing as well. Oh, it's absolutely flat out. The bike just seemed so slow, didn't it? Accelerating at Cadwell, it just didn't want to go. It was just weird. All right, medium soft. All right, let's see if we can beat ourselves with an extra seven horsepower, a kilo less, and a bit more knowledge. And then down the back of the circuit, where we have got the extra power, we're too far behind to make a difference. Tents coming out there. Not hardly anything. Wow. Lost it all being cautious. through there, just doesn't want to stop into there still. There's ghosts all over the place, I don't know which one's which. There comes the grey one, there he is. second note, we've got to keep that. Yes, we've done it. We haven't lost all that time through there. That's what we want. Just the big boy corner, the chicane. Stop sliding, stop sliding. Oh my god, it was so slow through there. Got in there on the front end hard. It's worked. We're not pulling anything down the straight on that grey bike. Oh, there you go. 59.9. 57.952 and I am done. I am not mucking about anymore with that. That has been horrendous. So we beat it by a tenth of a second. <laughs> that's it so for all the extra stuff and all the extra performance it's worth precisely one tenth of a second which is obscene obviously on a circuit with bigger straights and whatever it would be worth more because it has more performance but more performance comes at a cost and the cost is it's a control tyre so the grey bike is almost the perfect balance of power, grip and everything else and therefore it's quicker because it's not trying to kill you didn't think I'd say that, but less is more. Definitely more. Right, let's just confirm then. There you go, 38th. It's definitely gone quicker. Any more R1s? Any more R1s? No. It is just a BMW N1000 and a super leger, a breeding ground, isn't it? There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. No difference. Wow. 154. So they are... Jesus. 3 point... Well, 3.5 seconds quicker. So, mm, 
interesting, although there were quite a lot of performance more, but we'll give it a go. Right, this one's done. Uh, next time, three, oh, three lap race at Cadwell, but we will be using the grey bike with the slicks on it. We won't be using the blue one with the stock tyres, if it, if it lets me. That's the plan anyway. But thanks for watching. There's a comment, liking, sharing, subscribing, all the usual jazz. And fingers crossed, I'll see you next time. Take care, stay safe. Peace.